Good news! We are saving the 310. Yes, I know, it's been a few months, but there's been lots of things happening in the background. We made a trip out to California to go look at 310 Mike Mike. That one is not working out so far. Don't know if it ever will. We'll still keep that one in the back and maybe, maybe not, don't know. However, we did get a solution and we are going to save the 310 in a way that is going to turn out way better than the one we found in California. It's going to be fantastic. Today, however, we got to get these things started. We got to run them up, get them super hot. We have to do a compression check to make sure these engines are going to be good because they're going to be going on the other airplane. You're like, well, why don't you just save this airplane? Well, here's why. Those fuel bladders over there, they were dry for about 40 years of fuel. No fuel in them, dry rotted. Those are gonna have to be replaced. Uh, we've got fuel line connections over here that are leaking. We have the wiring in the entire airplane is trash, so we'd have to redo that, which that in itself is not that big of a deal. The fuel bladders, super difficult to get now because the plane is so old. The gaskets underneath, which are also kind of a pain to get, and we can make them and do some things there. Again, you just add up all these things. But the biggest one is structural. Right here, big old crack here, a big crack here. And underneath, I don't know if you can see that right there. But this, what I think happened is somebody jacked it up only on this one. And there's supposed to be two jacks in the front. And I think they jacked it up only on the front. And it kinked this and wrinkled all this stuff up here. So that's <laughs> toast. The other thing that we found is pretty much throughout the entire airplane where it sat in Pennsylvania for 40 years, everything's rusted. So all of the nuts and bolts and hardware that is not stainless or the, you know, the parts that are not aluminum, they're all rusted so bad that they just break off and they're Pennsylvania rust belt stuff. All the pulleys, all the cables, I mean, you name it, the bearings and everything. Basically, this airplane would need to get torn all the way down and every nut and bolt, pulley, every single thing replaced on it to make it safe and airworthy. However, we have found the most beautiful, epic donor airplane that I've ever seen. And I actually tried to buy this airplane about two years ago and somebody snagged it before me. And we are going to be able to finally get it. The deal's already done. I just got to go meet him. It's in California, and yes, we'll be flying it back all the way from California, which is a bit sketchy in and of itself, just knowing the history of the airplane, you'll see when we get there. That airplane, everything that it lacks is what Mighty Mouse has. These low time engines, not these propellers, but those hot rod propellers down there. Uh, all of the new stuff that we bought for it, the tires, the hoses, all the fancy bits. And yes, we're doing a full avionics update in it too. And it's gonna be flying to Oshkosh. I hope. It's a huge undertaking. We're pretty much redoing an entire airplane in about three weeks, whenever, it, uh, whenever we finally get it here, to get it to Oshkosh by the end of July. That's gonna be insane. All right, Willis, we gotta get to work. Somebody sent me a Zimbabwe flag. About pushing it back all the way. You could buy this for 125 and sell it five years from now for 125. Yeah. Not more. Wow. That's a classic. Yeah, it is. 1950. Holy moly. Has the same design cues as the uh, Mighty Mouse over there. Okay. So it might have been a little bit easier for that. Oh, back. Nice! I didn't miss the camera. 
I have not missed the camera. <laughs> I was swimming in the ocean and uh, I was taking my dog swimming and I was rolling with her and the water was in my ear and when I was upside down it kind of drained itself in and it is stuck in there and now my ears closed. I can't hear anything. Nothing. We're gonna throw some alcohol. Go ahead. Ready? Go ahead. There's only little bits floating around. Oh! Here, wiggle your head around. Wiggle your head. Now take your ear and wiggle your ear up. Yeah, let, let that alcohol work in there. It'll dry out the water. Yeah. We're going to hit him with some WD-40. We got the corrosion egg, that buster over there. That'll do it. Now, did you feel it like go in there and touch the thing? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's now there. dump it out. There you go. Now wiggle. What are you, <laughs> this isn't like a... This ain't a rock show, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say who's the, I was gonna say Motley Crue, but that's a bit old, showing my age. There you go. Gross. <laughs> it's still filled. I can't hear anything. No, you will. Give me a second. What? Yeah. It's been sitting. It's like my ear. Now tip it over. Okay, we gotta get to work. That's better. Clear prop. Woo! That's good. Check the gate, watch the ga oil pressure gauge. Yeah, we'll or keep cranking. It's gonna take a while. There it goes. You got all the plugs out? Yes. Roger, okay. There you go. We got our fancy new harnesses for the new stuff. We're gonna see if they're, that's not even close. Oh. Nope. nope. We gotta use the big plugs on this one. And now we know. Hey, uh, go all the way to the gas tank. All right, go ahead. I, I, got, oh. I got lots and lots of room here. Go ahead, Sparky. All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Not even close. Nobody else needs to come back to me. Yeah. That's another day in Florida man world trying to tie airplane parts with bailing wire okay that looks like it's on there we got most of the spark plugs in those are secure our throttle 
cutoffs are working. We only got two gallons of fuel in each tank, so we're just gonna run it and warm it up till it runs out. And that'll get these plenty warm enough to then do our compression check to make sure we have a good engine that's gonna go on the donor airplane. Yes. Are you ready with the uh, wake up juice? Wake up juice, ready to go. All right, let's do this. I'm pretty sure we still got it chalked up. Get in here. Okay. Clear prop. Come on. Okay, here we go. This time, I feel it in my bones. Clear the prop area. Ah, here, let's try the other side. Clear? Well, boys, little pee came out. A lot, a lot of pee actually came out because all of our tire chocks and everything disintegrated. Did, yeah, disintegrated. Not good. And by some miracle, and and yet another miracle of oh, it stop. <laughs> Save the 310. Uh, literally. I, this isn't even hooked up to the steering or anything. Yeah. From some luck of the draw, you started going left instead of going right. Yeah, so we missed the brand new Mercedes that's on that side of it. We missed the pool, and somehow we missed and got it stopped just this close to the glider and got the engine. Oh, Lord have mercy. Me and Sparky may have had to bend your brakes at the end there. Jeez. Oh, it was live. I. It's definitely the Mountain Dew is like flowing through the veins right now with the adrenaline and how you doing? I'm doing all right. Flashbacks? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that that left chalk just disintegrate and I went. Oh. I wasn't sure if that stopped. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that's why I was right after it. I wanted to get taken off with it. Uh, oh. I was, I was, once I took the first one, oh. I was committed to that. Are you clear over there? Yeah. All right, go ahead and stop. I'm pretty close over here. There we go. Now we're clear. We can start working back in the pole. All right, slow down. Somebody came in hot with a golf cart. <laughs> Big one. <laughs> it. Where did those plastic chocks go? They're in the trash can. Okay. What's left of them? 
Yeah. Ninety-six. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know what I experienced that fine day. Poo everywhere. <laughs> We're gonna have to re-detail the inside of this airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Went from black to brown. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, sir. How's those plugs looking? Like what crap? Trying to find top dead center compression. What we're looking for. This one isn't a an official one because it's got just a percent on it. But we got to make sure it has a low leak down on it, which means the rings are sealing. We'll bring it up to 20 psi on this side. This way over here. This thing is all stupid. It's not working the way it's supposed to. No, look. We got air. Yeah, we got plenty of air, but that gauge right there is not. We use those plastic chocks over there, and they ended up breaking. So I owe you some plastic chocks. They were just sitting over there. Oh, there don't worry about that. I'm glad you broke them because I was going to get rid of them. Uh, kind of fun, so. Yeah, well, they didn't didn't really work out so well, so we, we broke those. Uh, but the brakes don't work? No. Because that's all why we had everything chalked up a whole bunch on this thing. Yeah. We tried everything, so. Everything clear? Yeah. Why we're doing this, but we're doing it because well, we wanted to race in a plane. I think somebody but I can't started talking plane. crap, and I got sucked <laughs> into it. So we're racing from here to that transformer way down there. This is the <laughs> damn, you're fast. <laughs> Woo! Why? For my <laughs> Whose idea was that? That was a terrible idea. The young guys? I almost went down first. <laughs> I thought I had you at that point. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. Time to put some newer stuff on. Woo! Is your magneto. This lights your fire right here, boys. Throw that bad boy on there. Click, click, bang. And then we got the Surefly that's going to go on this side over here. Assuming whichever harness we got is in a better condition. Actually, these are in pretty good condition. Yeah, there's no fraying or anything on this. But you'll notice the spark plug sizes are different. See the how big that one is and how that one's different size? The new one that we got are all these big ones. So we have to use the bigger spark plugs on this one. And my understanding is that the bigger ones are the newer spark plugs. It was the old, old spark plugs that were the skinnier ones, right? Or is that backwards? I couldn't tell you. That's what Phil was saying is that one, one of them was a long time ago and then they went to a different size for better something, like more security or something like that. 
Oh, heat range maybe. Yeah. So we may have found some of our problem. See these uh, sparkle plug wires? They're supposed to be attached right there, and uh, not not so much. No wonder that would definitely make sense if we had. That's what it sounded like, and some of the plug wires were just not connected, not on. Now we may have broke one or two of these pulling them off. We got new ones coming anyway, or they're here. They're sitting over the bag. But we definitely know these are toast. Yeah. And this one was the pain in the butt to start. This is what happens when they sit on here for 40 years and are never removed or taken off. When you finally do go to pull them out, they're glued. One small conductor. Yeah, that's a little tiny wire right there. Look at that. That's it. That's crazy. Up oh, into the trash bin. Yeah. We got our propellers. Grizzly's going to take them to the prop shop. They're going to check them, make sure they're good to go so when we put them on, they're working right. Of course, this is Jimmy's world, so what are we going to do? Take the engines off again. We're taking them off. We're going to be replacing all of the gaskets all the way around it. The seals that are 40 years old and dry and leaking now that they've got some heat and some stuff in them. So these engines can get us to Oshkosh. Yeah, we've got a whole, we still got a bunch of work to do on this. That's going to be fantastic. Don't forget, we got merch to save the 310 where you can be a part of this insane journey. And I've even started a website, so we're going to get designers to design t-shirts and all kinds of fun stuff. This is a mammoth project that we've got ourselves into. Now, granted, I'm going to be into this thing for like a hundred grand by the time it's all done, but it's going to be pretty freaking sweet and you are not going to want to miss the donor plane that we're picking up for this thing it is epic gorgeous beautiful airplane we got lots of stuff to do i just got a check from a michael i'm going to leave his last name uh, private for his protection not because it's really difficult to pronounce and i'm not going to butcher it uh, he is a police chief in Louisiana. We got a check here for a thousand dollars and it says save the 310. Michael, your name is now the top of the list and going to go on the front of the nose if you are the top single donor for this project to get it done. Thank you, Michael. The rest of you guys, you can go to uh, givesingo.com slash save the 310. We're there. We are making it happen. This is happening 100% for sure. There's no turning back now. Thank you so much. You know what to do. My name is Jimmy. This is Jimmy's World. See you next time.